Hey guys, welcome to Cook with DIYs. And in today's video, I am just gonna get a little more intimate with you guys and talk about why, three reasons why I stopped event planning. Is that three? Yeah, that's three. <laughs> um, so let's get into the video. The first reason I stopped event planning was I just didn't have the time. Um, I'm a mother of three, I'm a wife, I also work uh, nine to five. And so event planning is a very big task. You have to coordinate with clients. You have to make sure um, their vision is translated correctly to, you know, the layout that you also envision for their party. And then also you have to manage different vendors, um, hire different vendors for things that you don't do in-house. So it's just, event planning is an, is a great career, it's an awesome job. I don't knock anyone that can do it, I wish I could, but I just don't have the bandwidth and the time to do it. So that's one of the reasons why I stopped um, helping with planning full-scale events. Now the second reason I stopped event planning was I just didn't have the energy. Uh, similar to time, it does take a lot of um, research and um, acquiring things that aren't in your inventory. So I just didn't have the energy for that, you know, especially during the week, like I should be researching and trying to find different pieces for the event decor and, you know, ha trying to also, if I'm managing more than one party, then I just didn't have the, I just didn't have the energy for it. You know, again, full-time mom. So, uh, that's a job in itself. And, you know, and also working, it's like, I wanted my weekends to be for me. Um, and I really didn't want to take time away from my family. Um, my daughter is still young, so I really wanted to try and spend more time with her. Um, especially as I get older and she's growing older. Um, I just really wanted to have the energy to do homework with her. She started school. So it's like, you know, it's like that. Those are the times that I had with my sons and I want to be able to give her that same attention and energy. Third reason I stopped event planning was I, people were, didn't, do not, people do not want to pay what you're worth, you know, and I value my time. I value my energy, as I've already said in uh, my other two reasons. So people don't seem to realize with event planning, with event decorating, with a lot of professions in the event industry, people don't realize how much your time and energy, the value on that. And so a lot of people didn't want to pay. I would get inquiries and then they would kind of be like, oh, that's a little expensive, you know, and people don't want to pay for your time. Like people don't want to pay for your energy. People don't want to pay for your expertise. So, you know, and, and especially event planning, like you're doing the whole event, you're planning the whole event for them. You're coordinating all the vendors, you're coordinating you know, even on the day of, you're making sure things are going in the right places. So why wouldn't you pay for that person's time? You know, I just didn't, I didn't see the value in overextending myself and then someone not compensating me for that, you know, um, or always having a pushback and me having to fight for that justification. So um, if you guys are getting into the planning industry or you are currently in the planning industry, more power to you, and I really hope that you um, think about, make sure that people are paying your worth and paying for your time and energy because that is valuable. It's just like a mechanic. It's just like a a doctor or um, or a plumber, like any kind of profession that it's a skill that you know gets better and you get you perfect it over time. Those things need to be compensated. You know what I mean? Like you need to be compensated for your time and energy. So, um, yeah. So if you guys like this video, um, I'm going to try and do more videos like this, um, where you get to kind of know me as a business owner and as a mom, and I get to know you guys and you guys can comment down below, uh, any video ideas that you would like to, um, see me do, and I'll see you in the next one.